Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Military TV. In today's session, we will learn about Harpoon, the best anti-ship missile ever. If you are curious on the details of this missile and the distinction it has, stay tuned only at this channel. The Harpoon is a U.S. subsonic anti-ship cruise missile which was originally developed by McDonnell Douglas for the United States Navy in the 1970s. Numerous variants have been manufactured since its inception including air, ship, and sub-launched versions. The Harpoon has also undergone multiple upgrades to improve its range and guidance. With the cost of each unit up to $1,406,812, the variants of the Harpoon have been exported to many countries. Interestingly, the Harpoon has been described as the world's most successful anti-ship missile, and it is currently in service with the armed forces of more than 30 nations. For the information, this missile has been regularly upgraded over the years, and this has led to the development of the standoff land attack missile SLAM and the SLAM expanded response SLAMR. Anyway, to get further details, let's take a look at some of its general specifications. The Harpoon missile has been adopted for use on Boeing B-52H Stratofortress bombers, which can carry 8 to 12 of the missiles. First deployed in 1977 as an all-weather over-the-horizon anti-ship missile system, the Harpoon utilizes a low-level sea-skimming cruise trajectory with active radar guidance. It is capable of executing both land strike and anti-ship missiles. Moreover, with a total mass of 691 kilograms including booster and the length of 3.8 meters, this missile was used during the Iran and Iraq wars. Furthermore, with a diameter of 34 centimeters, it operates a Teledyne CAE J402 turbojet or solid propellant booster for surface and submarine launch, which is greater than 600 pound force of thrust. It has a maximum speed of 864 kilometers per hour or equals to Mach 0.71. Additionally, this missile has been developed with various versions including Harpoon Block 1D, SLAM ATA Block 1G, Harpoon Block 1J, Harpoon Block 2, Harpoon Block 2 Plus, Harpoon Block 3, Harpoon Block 2 Plus ER. In addition, the regular Harpoon uses active radar homing and flies just above the water to evade defenses. The missile can be launched from fixed-wing aircraft, the AGM-84, without the solid-fuel rocket booster, surface ships, the RGM-84, fitted with a solid-fuel rocket booster that detaches when expended to allow the missile's main turbojet to maintain flight, submarines, the UGM-84, fitted with a solid-fuel rocket booster and encapsulated in a container to enable submerged launch through a torpedo tube, coastal defense batteries from which it would be fired with a solid fuel rocket booster. What seems to be distinctives of this missile is its capacity to strike from any direction. Harpoon missiles are capable of being launched from surface ships, submarines, shore batteries, and from naval aircraft such as the F-A-18AF and Lockheed P-3C Orion anti-submarine and maritime surveillance aircraft. Ship, submarine, and shore-launched harpoons require a booster for launch. However, air-launched harpoons are fired without the need of a booster and generally start the engine after aircraft separation. In the following scene, we can see some of its operational history including First, the SS Coronado launches the first over-the-horizon missile engagement using a Harpoon Block 1C missile during the Rim of the Pacific Exercise Rim Pack 2016 in the Pacific Ocean, 21 July 2016. Second, a Harpoon missile is launched from the Ticonderoga-class cruiser USS Shiloh during a live-fire exercise in 2014. Third, a Harpoon training missile is loaded onto the USS Asheville during a certification exercise in 2020. Also, Harpoon Block 2 test firing from USS Thorn, and of course many more to mention. For the recent update, it was announced in February that Boeing began work to return the Harpoon to operational status in the US Navy submarine force after a more than 20-year absence. 
The Navy submarines awarded Boeing a $10.9 million contract to refurbish 16 Harpoon missile capsules and four all-up rounds of encapsulated Block 1C Harpoon missiles. The project is expected to be completed in December 2022. The UGM-84A Harpoon Block 1C missiles will be installed on U.S. Navy submarines of the Los Angeles class. According to Boeing, Harpoon missiles are currently integrated into more than 600 ships, 180 submarines, 12 distinct types of aircraft, and many land-based launch vehicles around the world. As a result, the Cold War platform is prepared to meet the challenges of a rapidly changing world. That's all about Harpoon Missiles. In case you have any suggestions for the next topic, feel free to drop any comment below. Thanks for watching and see you next time.